Hi guys, it's Kayla, and welcome back to my channel for some more Gakuin Club. Yay! Last time we went through the prologue and found it to be a very interesting story. I had you guys vote in the comments below, and now I will announce for you guys how that ended up ranking. In last place, we had Yuya Yamaoka with 4 votes. Then, after him with 6 votes, we had Saku Takizawa. Next, we had a tie between Wataru Kagurazaka and Rinji Kamiki with 13 votes each. Then the runner-up was Asahi Minakawa with 14 votes. And finally, the winner, getting the most votes by far, was Toma Sakai with over 32 votes. I say over because I also got some DMs asking me to play his route. You guys really wanted me to play Toma. But just counting the YouTube votes, he won still anyways. And I'm not mad about that. He's super cute. He is the one that I was drawn to as well. And don't be sad if the character you wanted didn't get picked, we can always go back and play theirs as well. But yeah, to kick off this series of Gakuen Club, we'll be playing Toma Sakai's route. Alright, so let's begin with episode 1. The next day, my eyes snap open. Wait, where am I? As alertly as I wake, my thoughts are a little hazy. I soon figure out why. It's because of the unfamiliar room and furniture. That's right, I've just moved here. I change into my uniform and go to the dining hall. Perhaps it's because it's so early, but I don't see very many students eating. Um, do I need to take a tray with me? Since I got home so late last night, not only did I miss eating dinner at the dining hall, I also missed the instructions on all of this. I should probably ask someone. Oh, um, I asked some girls in the dining hall. I just transferred here yesterday. I don't know the system here. Okay, follow me. I'll show you. As they teach me about the dining hall, they allow me to sit with them. Excuse me. After we finish breakfast, they invite me to walk to school with them. That's nice. I don't think you can get lost since there's only one path to take from the dorm to the school, but I'll tell you just in case. The path is surrounded by trees and peaceful nature. Maybe it's because we're talking as we walk, but we make it to the front gate in no time. I can't believe I'm actually going to the school from now on. <laughs> Welcome to the Kirika Academy. She looks a little embarrassed as she turns and opens her arms in a welcoming manner. When I start to laugh, I see the building I came upon yesterday right behind her. Hey, is that the old school building? Ah, uh, no way! Look over there! Why now? I've never even met him before! My question is drowned out by their shrieking. I wonder what's gotten into them. It's like they've seen some kind of celebrity. I follow their gaze to see a male student standing alone by the front gate. Oh! As I recognize him from yesterday, he's already walking towards me. I find myself rudely staring at his stride. What a beautiful gait. But one could say he has a mature demeanor, but he seems almost too composed. Maybe because he's so expressionless? I bet it's Toma. Oh no, he's coming this way! Calm down, just take a deep breath. What is it, you two? What do you mean, what is it? When he stops in front of us, the two girls freeze as if they've forgotten how to breathe. Uh huh? Come with me. Me? The two girls are staring daggers at me. What? I? You know Sakai? Since when? We chatted a little yesterday. Hurry up. Oh, okay. He starts walking without even waiting for me. Um, thank you for bringing me this far. I'll see you later. I say, but there's no reply. I turn and see my friend's bag just slip down from her shoulder. I've been told to show you around the school. Oh, thank you. Um, about yesterday. Seeing Sakai's face, I slowly begin to realize that everything that happened yesterday actually happened. <sighs> he has a little side face. He doesn't have to seem so bothered. I haven't even said anything yet. Never mind. Forced into silence, I simply follow after him. We walk all around school and I have no idea where I even am anymore. I like how all of these backgrounds have kind of a gingham checked pattern overlaid on them. Have you guys noticed that? I thought he was supposed to show me around. We've just been walking and he hasn't offered any sort of explanation on anything. Sakai hasn't talked to me at all, but he would sometimes remember to turn and look to make sure I'm still following him. Ah, to be honest, he's walking so fast, I have to really work to keep up. You've been breathing heavily since we started. Are you not feeling well? No. You're so clueless, Toma. You're walking way too fast. It's Minakawa from yesterday. Oh, you're from yesterday as well. I'm sorry, I was actually supposed to be the one to meet you, but I got called to another meeting. So that explains why someone as ill-suited to be a guide as Sakai here is doing it. Um, what was that? That's the warning bell. We're in the same class. Let's go. Oh, okay. 
As the three of us enter the classroom, all of the talking stops at once. The room is filled with silence. Huh? What's going on? Your seat is over there. I had them put you next to me. Oh, okay. Thank you. What? No way. Did you hear that? Yeah, what does that mean? Did she come with me to Kawa and Sakai then? I suddenly feel very uncomfortable and I keep my head down as I follow behind Minakawa. Is something wrong? No. Wow, how can they not care when they're at the center of so much attention? <sighs> I can hear Sakai sigh behind me. I turn to look at him. Minakawa, if you really want what's best for her, she should sit next to me. What? Why? You wouldn't understand even if I told you. Minakawa doesn't look like he agrees with this. I check and see the seat next to Sakai seems free as well. Oh, um, I think I might prefer sitting next to Sakai as well. Aw, daggers! The reason is simple. Minakawa doesn't understand the present situation, and Sakai does. Okay. Hmm, okay. I'll talk to the teacher for you then. Minakawa smiles as if he isn't even bothered by this. Ah, uh, thank you. I quietly whisper to Sakai. He doesn't change his expression as he looks down at me. Sitting next to Minakawa will only bring unwanted attention your way. While he doesn't seem like a person who is interested in others, he can still be so considerate. Thank you, you're very kind. I didn't do it for you or anything. <laughs> he sounds like a tsundere. It just reminded me of a bad memory. What could that mean? Well, I think it's time everybody was introduced to their new classmate. I, please come to the front. Yes, okay. I walk up to the front like I'm asked to. As I do, I get nervous since everyone's staring at me. I stand by the podium and I'm able to see everyone's inquisitive stares. Um, uh, what should I say here? I should start with my name. Is it true that Sakai was showing her around the school? Why is she transferring at this time of year anyway? I can hear them whisper to each other. I feel like I'm getting way more attention than I deserve here. What am I gonna do? Quiet. Homeroom has already started. Sakai's quiet voice echoes around the room. All of the students who had been talking look uncomfortable as they close their mouths. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm Kayla I. I know I'm transferring in the middle of the first semester, but it's nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. The scattered applause slowly builds. <sighs> I feel a little relieved now. You already have a seat picked out? Yes. Okay, then please take your seat. Now I have some important announcements to make. Homeroom ends after our teacher makes a few routine announcements. As I prepare for first period, I lean over and talk to Sakai next to me. Um, thank you for earlier. You've done so much for me today already. I haven't really done anything that you need to thank me for. No, that's not true. Whatever. I don't really care, but would you mind being quiet for me? Oh, okay. Sorry. Sakai may not look like he cares, but he keeps a calm eye on his surroundings. What a strange person. As morning class ends, Sakai gets up from his desk and leaves the classroom almost immediately. I would have liked to have asked him about the nightclub a little bit. In that case, I look towards Minakawa. Hey, Minakawa, let's eat lunch together. Oh, are you heading to the dining hall, Takizawa? Can we go with you? They seem busy. Although this may be my first day, there's something I've already found out. Sakai, Minakawa, and Takizawa are all very popular with the female students. It would probably be best not to get too close to them in public. It seems clear that the students who were at the club yesterday are not normal. I'm sure the outfits had something to do with it, but they're so dazzling. I guess there's no sense thinking about it now. Anyway, I need to grab lunch. Looks like I'm heading to the dining hall alone. I wonder what class those girls I got to know earlier are from. I walk down the hallway while thinking about the girls from earlier. Then suddenly I hear female voices up ahead of me. Kagurazaka, you're so cute today too! Please come eat lunch with us today. Hmm, I guess I'm in a good mood today. I suppose I could grace you with my presence. He was at the club yesterday too. He hides his smile as he walks with them over to the dining hall. He's so popular. What if I go to the dining hall and he actually says hello to me? I remember what had happened in the classroom and I find myself making a U-turn. Oh, but what am I gonna do about lunch? As I stand there wondering, I hear the female students in front of me again. Oh, is Sakai? Um, even if it's uh, just for today, we'd like you to spend some time with us. We've all liked you for such a long time. Hey, stop pushing me. Could you be quiet and could you not follow me? He's surrounded by those girls. It's kind of amazing. Sakai makes his way through the circle of students and walks away without changing his expression. What's going on with this school? Feeling like I've come to a different world, I decide to skip lunch and head out instead. 
I head towards the old school building. The building looked creepy yesterday, but it's actually pretty nice when I look at it in the sunlight. I wonder if the other students even know what's inside here. As I get near the old school building, I see that there's a green space in the back. I walk behind and see a small garden. Oh, this is very relaxing. There are flowers in the miniature garden, and most importantly, it's quiet. I approach the garden, stepping lightly. Wait, I think there's someone here. Who's there? Sakai? I stop in surprise. Sakai stands from the bench, looking a little angry as he stares at me. Oh, it's you. Why are you here? Don't tell me that you followed me here. No, I was just wandering around the campus when I ended up here. I see. Sakai sits back down at the bench as if he's lost all interest in me. What should I do? There's so many questions I have for him. Maybe I'll see if I can sit next to him. I walk up to Sakai and he looks up. I think he's surprised at someone suddenly standing in his light. Did you want something? I spot the nutritional supplement in his hand. Uh, what's that? It's a meal that's calculated all your daily nutritional needs, can't you tell? Uh, I didn't mean that. Is that your lunch? I don't think that's any of your business. That's true, but there really isn't much I can say after he said something like that. It feels like he's slamming a door shut on me. So, how long are you going to be standing there? Oh, um... Why don't you sit down? Can I? Do whatever you want. Thank you. When I sit next to Sakai, I don't know if it's coming from him, but I notice there's a faint citrus scent. It suits the garden. Ah, it feels so nice, and the flowers are so pretty. Wait, I can't doze off now. I need to ask him something. Actually, sitting down next to him like this, it's really hard to start a conversation. Uh, um, is it okay if I ask you a few questions since there's nobody else around right now? What? What is the Academy Club? Didn't we explain it to you yesterday? It's a secret club that's held in the old school building. Kirika Academy graduates and major industry figures are invited. Is the Academy really allowed to make a club like that? It's our job to wait on the invited guests. And now I'm a part of it too, huh? Yes, but only in the backroom work. We were just a little short-handed. I see. You'll probably figure out the rest over time. Sakai speaks dismissively as he listlessly eats away at his meal supplements. I guess I'm probably not going to be able to ask him anything in detail. Do you think I could get out of helping? I'm already uneasy about being so far away from my parents. I'd rather avoid putting any more on my plate. That club is top secret. I can't imagine you'd be allowed to stay at the academy if you refuse this. Really? I can't get expelled? What can you expect? You're still new. You haven't built any trust yet. That's still no reason to. And besides, you're not doing it alone. I don't think you need to worry that much. What? Does that mean that I can come to you for help? I really do feel anxious about all of this. I'm not saying that. But... I forgot to mention it before, but you start today. Be sure to come to the old school building after nightfall. Today? So much has been happening, I guess I have to accept my fate. Um, well, I'm in your hands, both in class and at the nightclub. Sakai doesn't respond to this. Does that mean he doesn't plan on helping me? <sighs> I guess I just have to do my best. Just then, there's a low growling sound. Oh, um, that was just... Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I forgot that I didn't even eat lunch today. Without changing his expression, Sakai holds up an unopened meal supplement. Oh, um... I'm sure you won't find this to be that satisfying, but it's better than not eating. I'm so ashamed. There's no hiding my hunger at this point. I take the meal supplement without a fight. I'll take you up on your offer. Thank you, Sakai. <sighs> he just ignored me again. I take off the cap and drink it. It's cool, refreshing, and quite tasty, actually. I thought it tastes more like medicine, but it's actually pretty good. Really? Oh. Sakai suddenly stiffens and stands up from the bench. Oh, um, Sakai? I'm leaving. I have things to do. Don't tell anyone that I was here. What? Um, wait! Sakai leaves before I can stop him. Where did that come from? But my question is soon answered. The female students arrive, only just missing Sakai. Hey, is it true Sakai came this way? Hey you, do you know where Sakai is? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. There's still time, let's go look for him. They all head towards the school together. He wanted to avoid them. Wow, I didn't even notice him coming at all. It must be hard to be so popular. Night falls and I sneak out of my dorm, heading towards the old school building. As I walk into the nightclub, I see that everyone's already there. Finally. What, am I late? No, not particularly. Sakai's so hard to read. While I still have a lot to learn, I look forward to working with you all. Let's get started. Ouch, ignored again. Okay, 
After a while, the guests begin to arrive and the staff members begin to attend to them. Almost like a real nightclub, they each sit down at the table and engage in conversation. I wonder if this is more like a host club. A lot of you guys were commenting that. The only difference I can see is that the guests are all wearing masks to hide their faces. The guests are a little bit creepy, but everyone else looks so cool in their suits. They appear so much older. As I look closer, I see that they're each entertaining guests. While everyone else is smiling politely, Sakai is looking more cold than usual. He's waiting on a guest, isn't he? It's a little worrying, but... Once again, we missed out on seeing Toma smile today. Please don't tell me you only come in in hopes of seeing me smile. I guess not. Well, I'll see you again soon. Sakai remains expressionless as he bows his head to see the guests out. After a little while, the next guest comes. Toma, I came to see you again. You'll join me at my table, won't you? If that is what you wish. He says rather indifferently, and she nods enthusiastically. She's shown to her table with a big smile on her face. Okay guys, host club confirmed. This is totally what this is. I guess Sakai's popular here too. As I feel his isolation, I decide to concentrate on the backroom work that I'm still not quite used to yet. They told me to get the drinks and fruit, but I'm a little nervous that I'm going to screw this up. The drinks are non-alcoholic, but they still require recipes like a cocktail. I look at the recipe and check the syrups and mixes we have. What's the matter? Ah, you startled me! I jump. I turn and see Sakai standing right behind me. I was calling for you from the doorway, but you weren't answering me. Really? Sorry! Can you do it? Yes, I'll do my best. Oh, you wanted something from me? Could I get some mixed nuts? Also, can you wash this glass? Yes, I can. Do you have another drink order? Don't worry about that. I'll make that one. So Sakai says as he walks out of the banquet hall where he skillfully makes three drinks at the bar. That's so cool. He doesn't look like a high school student at all. Sakai finishes making the drinks in no time. Oh, the mixed nuts. Here. Thanks. Later. I guess he didn't notice how worried I was. He's really nice, just like I thought. I catch myself following Sakai with my eyes. At lunch, he made it seem like he wasn't going to help me, but maybe he had a change of heart. This act of kindness isn't really lining up with the cold attitude he shows with the other students. At this point, I have no idea exactly how much more I'll be able to learn about him. Okay guys, and that's it for chapter 1. We kind of just established the boy's reputation at school and at the club, and hopefully we'll find more out about the club's backstory and more about Tilma next time in episode 2. Thank you guys for watching, and if you celebrate, I hope you have a super fun Thanksgiving tomorrow. Bye!